Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about DA100 is going to expire and it is going to replace PL300. So it is initially the license is data analyst associate and now they are changing it into Power BI data analyst. So there are lots of questions about this. I want to clear everything in this video. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. The first question which comes even for myself, what about the existing certificates? I am already a data analyst associate which I cleared DA100 last year and what will happen to that certificate? Right. For that, no need to worry about that for those uh, certificate holders because it is going to replace it with the Power BI Data Analyst Associate automatically in their dashboard. If you go here, this is a certification badge area of my account of Microsoft and you can see it here, this DA100 has been replaced with the Power BI Data Analyst Associate automatically. So you don't need to worry about that if you already cleared those exams and even the expiry period also the same it's just change the batch of it so no need to worry about anything so now you will ask about when this is going to expire right so I'm into this DA100 page and here it says message as this exam will expire on 31st March 2022 a replacement exam PL300 Microsoft Power BI data analysis is available it says so now let's go to PL300 so this is the one it's already available if you want to take the exam then it also has an option even though we are still on March then we can also take this exam now itself and even if you take this exam if you are familiar with DA100 and if you want to take the DA100 exam till March 31st it's okay you can also take this exam and if you certified with this one both of them has 700 as a pass mark for this one if you pass this exam also you will get DA100 and it will automatically convert it into Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst. Now the next question which comes in mind is what are the changes between DA100 and PL300? Absolutely if they have replaced the entire exam itself it means definitely there must be a change. So now let's figure out what are the changes it has now and even uh, if you are a Microsoft certified trainer, the documentation also is changed and the course duration usually it was four days for DA100 and now they are reduced it to three days for PL300. So let's begin and figure it out what are the changes they have made. Okay, now let's look into this what are the changes uh, it has into this exam. I'm into this DA100 page and if I go down here we have option of skills measured. If I click here, it will open up this PDF one and if I go back to this PL300, again clicking on this one, this will also open up into this one. So now let me copy this everything, PL300, what are these things available we have because going through one by one is really hard. So I will copy this everything till the bottom of this one, yeah, copy and now I am going to open this as text compare.com this will be helpful if we want to compare two sides of text here so I'm going to add on the top PL300 to avoid confusion and then paste whatever I have copied here and after that I'm going to D100 exam here so this exam was updated on March 23rd following the current exam guide we have included a version of the exam guide with track changes set it on showing the changes that were made on the exam on that date. So this is the new one and if I scroll down here it gives a message here. The exam guide below shows the changes that were implemented on March November 23rd. Sorry. So this is basically the changes what they have made in the existing DA100 exam. So they configure small multiple changes and create a pivot table from Power BI dataset in Excel. So I think those things are newly added 
and if we see here which comes in visualize the data 20 25 percent create report so if i go back to this one visualize the data here it is added here and what about the other one which we have seen on the blue color is uh, let me go down configure small multiples okay configure small multiples it's added here so that is the new one added here so let me copy this again from the beginning here so till the end of that session so scrolling down further this looks like it has a lot of content so i'm copying everything from here and again going to this one text.compare on the top i'm going to add da100 and then paste everything whatever i copied now i'm clicking on compare here this is completely free it will be helpful just to compare between these two changes so the text look very small here let me zoom now and if i go back on the top so the first thing is the name which is pl300 and it is changed here and if i let me just zoom out let's try if i can able to resize this all right so the first one is prepare the data so it is 15 to 20 percent and previously it was 20 to 25 percent they have reduced this percentage on the prepare the data topic so what are the topics they have removed is actually if you see the blue highlighted one choose an appropriate query type identify query performance issue use or create a pbids file and then connect to data set using xmla endpoints or identify data anomalies examine data structures all these things they have removed from da100 uh, in pl300 they have removed everything so whatever you can see blue highlighted here which is not available here right and if you see blue one here it means it is newly added on pl300 and it is not available on da100 so it means they profile the data which is not available here and it is available here so there are few things which they have changed their namings and everything but rest everything is fine and even if you compare this model the data which is 30 to 35 percent and previously it was 20 to 25 to 30 percent and if i scroll down so there are lots of uh, things here which is uh, they have removed from this one so that is why they have removed uh, they have made from four days to three days for the training sessions so create model calculation by using dax and this is fine and what are the other topics if i just look into the headings of this one visualize and analyze the data here visualize the data 20 to 25 percent and here 25 to 30 percent so again where is the percentage analyze the data 10 to 15 percent and i think they have removed everything the main topic here itself and here we have deploy and maintain assets 25 to 20 percent 20 to 25 percent and here there is no such headings there here is one so initially it was 10 to 15 percent and now they have increased to 20 to 25 percent for this era and rest everything is fine so these are the things which has a difference between that and now if you want to study about this pl300 and if you want if you are looking also for the uh, training materials and everything let me just go through the excel file which i'm maintaining it for the da100 and i think almost everything which is here like identify and connect data source change data source settings select shared data set local data set um looks like most of the things is already covered in this one which is also available on the excel file which i have it in google sheet so i will also let me zoom expand this one so i will also add that google sheet link in this video description so that you can also have a look into it and then you can it will be helpful for you to study further and prepare for the examination of pl300 so i hope you got a brief idea about what is the difference between the pl300 and da100 when it is going to expire which is 31st march and what will happen to your existing certificate and how you are going to take the exam and also what is the difference between these two exams and also the learning uh, area i mean the learning materials where you can find it over there you can also learn it from microsoft.com learn.microsoft.com and also i will share it my excel sheet link so that you can also go through that 
If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Please let me know your comments in the comment section below if something is missing here or something which I need to cover. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.